Well, one of the saddest guys today at the ground would have to be Clifton Hill President George Tiricus, and I've got him here with me now. George, you a bit sad today? Oh, well, it's been sad because I think we was the last day for us, the last chance we have to survive. Well, it must be a bit of irony because last year uh, you were with uh, East Richmond, weren't you? Well, uh, I was with East Richmond for the last four years, but don't forget I was with uh, Clifton Hill for the last 12 years. And I was the one who bring uh, Clifton Hill with the other committee members into second division. Uh, as Clifton Hill, uh, now they've been relegated from division two, uh, the strong rumours that there's going to be amalgamations. Are you, uh, you involved in any amalgamations? At the moment, that's what we're thinking. Amalgamate with another club. So we stay, instead of second division, we go first division. Can you give us a, a tip on the team you're amalgamate with? No, we cannot do that. George isn't giving us any secrets away today. Well, one coach who needs no introduction in the Victorian soccer at the moment is uh, Len McHenry, former Hyderabad United, great coach, and now doing his trade down here at uh, East Richmond, and they've just won the game against Cliff Nil 2-0. And uh, Len, nice to catch up with you again. Nice to see you too, Sugar. Well, Len, the, uh, how's life uh, treating you in the, with East Richmond in the second division? Very interesting, very interesting. Well, you've got a lot of young boys here, and uh, it's probably one of the youngest teams you've ever coached, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah, very young side, and uh, this is one of the attractions why I'm here, actually, because, uh, you know, rather than staying out and waiting for something else to come along, at least I think I'm doing a bit of good here with these young ones. What the average age be that side? It's very young. Oh, it's around about 20 now. And one player I did notice, uh, Felix Rosman, the centre-half, he, he's got a bit of quality, isn't he? He's going to be a very outstanding player. Now, Len, I've got to ask you this question. The East Richmond, they're playing the black and uh, black and gold stripes. So your old colours, uh, Heidelberg United, does uh, bring back memories? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I, mean, I, I think amongst the Greek community, it's predominantly blue and white or uh, gold and black, so we're back in the gold and black. Len, can we see Len McHenry back in the, the big time next year? Oh, it's always a possibility, sure. Always a possibility. And welcome back to the Soccer Show as we bow out just two weeks before the finals and don't forget next weekend the preliminary final to decide who will play Altona Magic on Grand Final Day and it's uh, next weekend between Port Melbourne and uh, the Bulleen Lions and that should be, I don't exaggerate folks, an absolute barn burner out of venue, Young Williams, Chaplin Reserve. I did hear though on Sunday evening that there may be a move maybe a move to have that game uh, move to a venue in the eastern suburbs and uh, that may go to the VSF board on Tuesday night, tomorrow night. So keep an eye out for that. But the preliminary final, you know, be there or be somewhere else, yep. isn't it, really? Definitely. Could be Box Hills ground, apparently, the Box Hills uh, change of venue. Yep. OK, let's talk about uh, other matches in Victoria State at the weekend. League. State League Division 1, State and I know you've got that. You've got it well in hand, young William. State League Division 1, just uh, some catch-up games happening uh, at the moment, and I'll run through the quick results. There were only three games. Croydon City 3, Caulfield City 1. Same score, Broadmeadow City, Broad City 3, Knox City 1, and Oakley 2, Thomastown 0. So Thomastown going down there again, looking at the State League Division 1 league ladder. Bentley and Thomastown both assured of going up, and Bentley are the league champions. Uh, Frankston Pines and Knox City, the two teams in trouble down at the bottom of the ladder. Just looking at State League Division 2, Springvale White Eagles have a five-point lead with three games to go, so they're looking set for the championship. Altona City down the bottom can still escape the relegation zone. No such luck for Clifton Hill, who are already relegated. State League Division 3, Westvale, of course, are the champions there. And South Dandenong and Melbourne City still fighting out the runner-up spot. And uh, down at the bottom, Sunbury United can also still avoid relegation if they finish the season strongly. Sandringham, of course, on two points. They are well and truly down to State League Division 4 next year. And looking at State League Division 4 now, South Springvale and Cranbourne. This is the most open race of all these state leagues. Still anybody's championship there. And down the bottom, Doveton and Brighton, who have disbanded, of course, 
uh, on one point. I'd be disbanding too if I only had one point. Doesn't augur well for their future. And, uh, of course, Provisional League, quickly through the Provisional League, look, a dose of salt. Provisional one, Moreland City and Layla on top of the ladder, down the bottom, Brandon Park and Dandy Nong. Provisional two, Mornington on top, lovely area, Mornington, for a, for a spot of uh, uh, holidays. North Glenroy and Keysborough in the race there, down the bottom, Broadmeadows United and Monash University. Whittlesea United, uh, Sydenham Park and Darabin United. Uh, Three each of 41 points in the Provisional League Northwest. Down the bottom, upfield. Endeavour United lead, Provisional three, Metro. Carum United at the foot of the ladder there. And Juan Turner lead, Provisional three, South East Central. Get it right, Blakey, you moron. RMIT at the foot of the ladder. So there you have it. Don't forget, Blakey, I've got a reminder here. Don't forget the junior competition, the grand final junior competition for all our little tadpole viewers, our little rugrat friends. We've got five goals happening, and you've got what you've got to do is select the best of three. It's not too difficult. There's five goals. Pick the best of three, put them in order, and you can win a VSF prize pack worth $2,500. It's a misprint. It's actually $250, but uh, still very exciting, and you've got a chance to be mascot of the day during the final series, and that's very, very uh, exciting too. We've got some letters happening, but uh, they're not worth reading on the program anyway. But if you do want to write to us, don't forget the soccer show, fairly, fairly rude. Rudimentary, the Soccer Show, P.O. Box 2134, St Kilda West, Victoria, 3182. And of course, uh, just speaking poorly of the junior competition, Young Williams, just to uh, round it out again, we're going to allow you to have a look at that quintet of fine strikes once more before we head out for the evening. Well, young Williams, the field of 14 that started out the season has become a field of three. Altona Magic through to the grand final, and uh, of course we've got Port and Bulleen next weekend. Big game. Very big game, big and, game. Uh, and of course, you know, what's going to happen? Who knows? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. I always want to go out with a song. Paul's the got a personality, folks. We'll see you at 7 o'clock next week. Preliminary final weekend. Oh, I can barely stand the excitement. Well, this is grassroots soccer. This is one of the most inspiring young players I've ever seen in my life. It's Nick. Hello. Now, have a look what Nick's got. This is the stable die of a soccer, junior soccer player. He's got a lovely souvlaki and a can of coke. Now, I must tell you, today, Nick has won the award because that's his 11th souvlaki and eight cans of coke. Well done, Nick, and you're on Channel 31 on the Soccer Show, and you're the biggest data we've had all year. Thank you. You're watching the Soccer Show on Channel 31. No, <laughs> <laughs>